Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash, Season 5. I should be having a Q&A video out sometime later today, hopefully, by the time this video is up. As you can tell, I've got my microphone back, I'm back in London, and I'm sorry for the last two days, but I had to make videos, I wasn't planning on doing it, so that's why my microphone was really, really shitty, and I'm very sorry about that. The levels I know were really off, you had to turn it all the way up and I'm very sorry but it was just urgent because they released all that Godspeed information and we got our first look and we're going to be talking about that today because there was a new photo that was released but also there's some new details that weren't said before and we'll go over that and also we've got a potential other major cast member leaving the Flash TV show after this season so we'll talk about that talk about some theories and what's going on so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so talking about Godspeed let's talk about him first so Canada Graphs who was on the set recently you can check out his blog and his Twitter where he is really frequently active and is a really good source for on set information so go check him out but he was able to post some more information via the credit of Brittany Charlotte who took those photos of Godspeed so all credits to her her links will be in the description below as well as they were on the past video but we've got some new details and we'll go over those details and this new photo that was released where we get to see like a better version of Godspeed. This was the small little detail that they were actually able to reveal. And so Godspeed supposedly chases Nora up a building to the roof. And this is next to the Central City Citizen media building. So this is probably in the future when Iris has like her own, her own full building. And the other bit they were able to reveal was... So Jessica scoots as if she'd been running, then Godspeed gets dropped from a height onto the Central City Citizen Board. Okay, so that is the small little description that is new that we need to go through. So essentially the scene of what has been leaked is Nora is actually being chased by Godspeed. They are fighting and this version of Nora seemingly has this ponytail that she had at the start of Season 4. So is it that this version of Nora, I don't think this version of Nora, by the way, fighting Godspeed is our version. I think she's either from the past or from the future. But presumably because that ponytail version that we saw in season 4, which has the same hairstyle as the one fighting Godspeed, was earlier. So it seems like maybe this is 2049, but before she has actually come to the past. Because I don't know why and how she would grow her hair so fast, unless it is way off into the future and she's like oh yeah I like that old hairstyle let's go back to that so I think for now we can presume it's 2049 but with a younger version of Nora whether it's you know six months or a bit whether it's like 11 months younger or something like that but still in 2049 and so so and so the description says Jessica scoots as if she's been running so they are being chased, so Godspeed is chasing Nora in this scene, and they go up the building, as it was said, and Godspeed falls off and crashes into the sign. So, they are fighting, and it seems Nora is able to get the upper hand, so maybe this sort of teases the idea that Nora is maybe pa as powerful as Godspeed, or this is just teasing the idea of just Godspeed, like, maybe through a flashback, or it does seem like... It's probably not going to be a flashback because Barry's there in the future and he's there with current day short hair Nora as seen on Canada Graphs' photos. So it seems like they are going to be spectating Nora fighting Godspeed and Nora, the version that's fighting Godspeed, doesn't actually know about them doing that. So it seems like they're just sort of doing like a spine, like a reverse flash type thing. And so that is the new details and let's go over this new photo that... Canada Graphs was able to get from Brittany Charlotte, so go check them out once again. But you get to see this, and it's a further away shot where you get to see Godspeed actually still being hung up, but you can see his full body, you get to see his boots and everything. So it's a nice, better shot, and I have to emphasize once again this is a perfect suit, really comic book accurate. I'm really excited to see him. I love those demonic eyes. 
I know I said that in the last few videos, but they are truly terrifying and I love it. It reminds me of Zoom and Godspeed is a killer after all, so it should remind you of Zoom because they both are mass murderers. His suit, like I said, you could see he's got white boots. He doesn't like have gold boots or anything. They haven't changed anything. And I don't know if the eyes are going to stay the same, but I really like them how they're black and sort of hollowed out because they seem very demonic. But yeah, you just get to see a nice full body look at Godspeed and what he's going to be looking like in this suit. And I can't wait to see him running with that golden lightning. That is going to be absolutely incredible chasing Nora in this scene and presumably in more than just one scene. And so I asked you guys on my community tab, which I quite frequently post on, what do you think Godspeed's going to do? Is he going to be like a one-time villain or do you think he's going to be the main villain for season six? Will he be, will he overtake Cicada and be the main villain for the rest of the season? Or will it be a trajectory type thing, like I said, with just one episode? And to most of you, about a thousand of you voted so far and everyone's basically agreeing that we think Godspeed's going to be the season six villain and I have to agree. I think they're definitely setting it up and it would be stupid if it was a trajectory type episode where Godspeed only appears once. He's such a big character. It's not like trajectory where you can just throw it away. You need to keep it. So I think most of us are in consensus that they should keep him on to be the season 6 villain because we are missing the speedster villains right now because we haven't had any for the last two seasons. But I know Thorn is back so maybe Thorn does something but he hasn't run yet. Alright so let's move on and talk about a bit of theorizing. So we officially know via Peggy, this is how I found out, that Godspeed's actor under the suit is just probably a stunt double right now and this actor who does the stunts for Zoom and he's done it for many other people in the Arrowverse is Ryan Handley. So I guess that answers a lot of your questions as to is there a real like actor underneath there. He has appeared on Arrow I do believe this actor but for now he's just the stock person under the suit who's going to be chasing Nora, he's going to be fighting, going to be falling and if they are setting this up for a season 6 I think they may do a change in the comics, it may not be August Hart, maybe they call him August Hart at first, maybe we know someone but then that perhaps that misleads you and I think it could be someone we know or we're introduced to and it's going to be some sort of mystery. I think that could happen because of the suit and the mask and obviously not having a proper actor underneath the suit right now so that's very interesting and also the episode is not far away so get excited for that because we've got a few more weeks until episode 15 then we got four episodes so not too far away until we see Godspeed on the screen and we'll get some trailers and stuff before then maybe we'll get an official poster I can't wait alright so let's move on to the other piece of supposed news and so this is from we got this covered so their source tells them that Danielle Panabaker might be vacating the Flash. They might, she might be vacating the series, thereby saying goodbye to a dual role as Caitlin Snow and Killer Frost. Though they can't be for sure as to what's happening other than perhaps it may be happening in a potential exit, they are uncertain. They can't say for certain, but from what they have said that Panabaker's exit is much less certain right now than Carlos Valdez, who they are pretty sure is exiting or is like in talks to exit the show and perhaps go back to Broadway. They think, according to their sources, and I have to say take this with a grain of salt because we don't actually know, but apparently Danielle may be considering actually packing things up and maybe leaving sometime at the end of the season, which would be really, really kind of sad. And I would be devastated because she is my favorite character, bar Barry on The Flash. So I don't know why she would do that because if you check through Danielle's resume, she's done a few films every now and again. I believe she did Friday the 13th reboot, I think she did that at some point. She did a film called Sky High, which is some sort of kids film I haven't seen. It's like superheroes, Piranha 3DD, which was really bad. And so she doesn't really have a thing to go back to, like Carlos coming from Broadway. She might do some of those just random like stricter DVD films. But right now, I don't see any need or any signs that this is happening, so I don't think it's going to be happening. But that is what the report is saying, so we'll see. Don't exactly know, and I don't exactly 
think I believe it because I don't see any reason for her to leave. So that is about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think of all this Godspeed madness? What do you think of new of the new photo? Now you can see his full entire suit. You get to see his boots as well. And also what do you think of the new details as to that scene? As to Nora actually being chased by Godspeed and this different version of Nora. And do you think Danielle is going to leave? I don't personally think she's going to leave. So anyway guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.